Hello, everybody. I am Jody Chapin, your 420RN. You wonder what a 420RN, that is a cannabis nurse. Um, I am known as one of the leaders in cannabis education in this industry. Um, I am a nurse. I've been a nurse for 32 years, uh, bedside nursing. Um, and now I have taken up a different kind of nursing, nursing plants. Nursing, this beautiful medicine that we all should worship. Uh, really, um, you know, all of the benefits, you know, mind, body, spirit, you know, everything from, you know, growing it to actually ingesting it and using it in our bodies. So, um, you know, along the way, you know, along this journey, I'm also, um, I have formed a group of nurses that also want to learn how to grow. And um, so what we are going to do is we are going to follow the life cycle of this beautiful plant. Um, I have a team of four nurses other than me. Um, one of them has, um, has experience growing uh, cannabis indoors and outdoors. Uh, so between the two of us, we both have had uh, probably the most experience um, with growing. And then the three other nurses have, you know, either no experience, they're first time growers, um, or they've, you know, kind of dabbled um, um, in it here and there. So it, it'll be interesting, you know, to see, um, you know, what we, what we get out of this show. Uh, so so along the way, not only will we show you the growth process of the plant itself, but we're also going to educate you on the, the beneficial um, compounds of the plant that we call cannabinoids and terpenes and terpenoids. And many, many people haven't heard those terms, and along the way, we will, um, we will educate you. But today, I want to start by um, showing you uh, the very first step uh, from seed germinating. Um, so we start with a little teeny tiny seed. Um, many people have seen, I'm going to bring this up nice and close so you can see these little seeds. Okay, this is how it starts. And they are live. It doesn't look like they're alive. They are little embryos. This is, you know, almost like, you know, babies. We all start as, as little embryos, the egg. Um, so this is a seed, and I'm going to show you what we do with the seed from here to make it pop, to start the process, because it needs to be exposed to water. So I'm going to come over here and show you what I have done, because the process has been sped up. In this cup here, um, there's a mixture of water and hydrogen peroxide. And this has been two days of soaking these seeds. So I took those seeds, put them in water and hydrogen peroxide, um, a 1 to 10 ratio. And look, they've popped, some of them have um, popped out of their husks altogether. But then they have their little embryonic leaves that have started. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drop those into soil. I'm sorry, not soil. Uh, this is going to my medium that I'm going to be using is actually a soilless medium. Um, it looks a lot like soil, but it's primarily peat and um, perlite. And this particular one has a little bit of fungi in it, um, myco. Uh, mycorrhizae, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, uh, but that helps with the root system um, when the plants are growing. And with this soil, uh, later on you'll hear of me uh, speak about amending soil, which means adding nutrients to the soil to help feed uh, the plants later on. But right now, uh, when they're in their germinating stage, you don't, that would burn that would burn the root system. They're just, just starting right now. They just have a little bit of a tap root, that little bit of a tail, um, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to plant. So each one of those seeds is gonna get their own little solo cup. So what I do is um, you start with just an empty solo cup, and you want um, to have some holes in the bottom, and I just take a lighter because this is going to allow for drainage. You want proper drainage for these plants. Um, 
And that's why with the perlite, the perlite adds uh, um, some great uh, aeration. You want the um, soil to be aerated, uh, and that helps with nutrient uptake later on when you're adding nutrients and um, feeding the plants and as the root system is really growing. Um, and uh, the Pro Mix has, has some perlite in it. Um, as well. Uh, but what I want to show you is at the bottom of the cup, I will put a small layer of this perlite, very light. I'll put a small layer of the perlite. Now I'm going to do it over this bucket just because now that I've made holes, I'm going to move my, my water out of the way. Now that I've made holes in the, um, in the cup, then it's going to come out. So it's only about a quarter of an inch or half an inch, just enough to allow for a little more drainage in the bottom. Then <clears throat> I'm going to take my uh, Pro Mix and fill up the Solo cup. And I'll just tap it down just a little bit. You don't want to pack it too, too much. Um, just pack it down to about a half an inch below the rim. Um, when you uh, put your ph water um, in it, it is going to pack down the soil a little bit more. Um, so then what you're going to want to do, because these, these little uh, germinated seeds are very delicate, I'll be using tweezers um, so I can gently pick it up, but I also don't want to jam it into the medium, so I'm going to make a little bit of a hole um, right in the center to, um, to drop the germinated seed in. I'm going to put my glasses on for this so I can see which one. So now it comes down to selection. I'm just going to pick up whichever one I can grab. And you really need to be really gentle. And this one I just lightly picked up from. It's from one of the leaves. That's the embryonic leaf. I think it's called the coat. I don't know if I'm saying that right, C-O-T-Y-L-E-D-O-N. Um, I take it, root down, tap root down, right down into that, that hole that I just made. And then gently, I'll gently push the soil around it. Now you don't want to completely soak the soil at this point because really the root is only teeny, teeny, tiny. It's really just that, um, just that top part. Uh, so what I didn't think of to pre-fill was a spray bottle <laughs> with ph water. You want a pH, usually tap water is about nine, um, uh, nine, uh, uh, oh gosh, okay, you're gonna definitely have to edit this. Um, what do I want to say on the pH meter? It's nine. It's acidic. It, 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 I would say it was about nine. Yeah, it registers. Okay, so so um, tap water uh, generally registers about eight to nine um, pH, and we want it to be uh, six point around six point two, anywhere from I've heard five point eight to six point two, but you want it a lot lower. So generally, you add a conditioner to the water to bring the the pH down. And there's different lines of conditioner. Some people use natural things like uh, lemon juice to bring it down. Um, but you need, what, what everyone should have is some sort of pH meter, a meter that um, you can get at a, um, a hydro store. Um, they're also at garden centers as well. Uh, but, you know, just a pH meter that you can pop in the water, you know, that you've, and just to make sure that, that um, the water that you're using is the proper pH. And that helps with the rooting system as well, you know, uh, uh, with establishing that healthy root system. Um, so normally what I would do at this point, I would take a spray bottle and I would spray the, um, the top of the soil just until it's, it's um, moist about um, a, half inch, uh, a half inch deep. And then what I would do is I would put this um, in my either uh, a windowsill, and if it's in a tent, in a grow tent, um, I would put it uh, in indirect light. I wouldn't put it directly under the light because actually at this point, until that, um, that first leaf breaks the top of the soil or the top of the medium, I know I call it soil and it's a soilless medium, but as soon as it breaks the top, that's when you can expose it to light. But right now, since that 
you know, since it's just below, it doesn't need to be exposed to light. It's better if it's, if it's in indirect lighting or it can even be in dark. But you want it warm. You want the temperature to be a good 70, um, 70 75 degrees um, to keep it warm so those roots, uh, so those roots can form. So, um, and, and I would also date it. I would write the strain, which this, uh, this particular seed that I, have, that I had popped um, is one that I call Jody's Secret. It is one that was produced in my grow room accidentally on purpose. <laughs> I had uh, two males that ended up pollinating three different females that I had, um, that I had growing. So I, I ended up getting lots of seeds, which I'm playing around with right now. So my first, uh, my first successful harvest will be, well, hopefully successful, will be coming up soon uh, in a few weeks. Um, but until then, we're still playing around and, um, um, and growing them. So, so these are some seeds that I had popped. So this is what it starts out as. And then let me bring um, this was that same, you know, at that same stage on December 16th. So that was a month, just over a month, because today is January 21st. And that's, that's what the, um, the seed will look like. And today in another segment, I'll be transplanting this to a one gallon cloth pot. So, you know, you'll see the different stages. Um, but that, that is what this seed will hopefully look like. You know, so it goes from, where was this? It goes from the seed to popping it with a tap root to in the soil to breaking the soil. And then eventually, you know, as, as they grow, once they get into the one gallon pot, they'll get to this size. Now this one is two months old. This one, November 1st was when this seed was popped. And this one is ready to go into a five gallon pot, uh, which will be yet another, another segment. Um, but it's, it's really, you know, um, a, a fascinating hobby to get into. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of time and, and, and energy, but you know what, that it's, it's well spent time and energy in this fantastic medicine. I have learned so much and I'm so excited to, you know, get my other team, my team of nurses coming and learning and growing with me and seeing how, how we all do because I have gone through so many ups and downs and failures and, you know, and it'll be interesting to see how, you know, how other people get through their, their failures and, you know, show off our successes and um, I'm very excited for this. If you're looking to follow us and follow uh, Nurses Who Grow, uh, you can find us at uh, uh, 420rn.com uh, as well as greennetworkproviders.com and nurseswhogrow.com. So you can find us in all sorts of different places. We're, uh, we'll be on Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, Instagram, um, where you know we're we're just going to keep on building. Um, please, you know, let anybody know if they're interested in growing. Come follow us. It's actually a really really fun group. You're gonna you're gonna learn to love us. You're I know you're gonna learn to love the plant.